In this video, we're going to be navigating you through the Buffang C961 display and showing you how to get into the advanced programming. First, start by holding down the power button for a few seconds. The battery must also be turned on. The LCD displays motor information such as speed, pass, which is the pedal assist level, and then trip and odometer information. The default when the unit is powered on is turned to pass level zero. Pedal assist and throttle are inactive in pass level zero. In order to engage pass and throttle, you'd have to be in pass level one or higher. You can increase or decrease the pass level, which is the pedal assist level, by pressing the plus or minus button. Increasing your pass level provides more power and speed. Pressing and holding the minus button will put the motor in walk mode. This makes your motor help push the bike when walking, such as up a steep hill. Pressing and holding down the plus button will turn on the backlight display. Holding down the power and minus buttons at the same time will reset your trip distance on your display. This does not reset the odometer, so you will always know your overall mileage. Press the power button, but don't hold it down, and this will switch between your odometer and trip meter. Enter settings by holding down the plus and minus button at the same time. The first setting is the units of speed in either kilometers an hour or miles per hour. Pressing the plus and minus button will allow you to change the setting. Press the power button again after selecting your preferred unit, speed setting, to confirm it. This will take you to the maximum speed setting, which you can change by using the plus or minus button. Press the power button once you have inputted your desired max speed. Now you're on the backlight setting page, which controls how bright your backlight is of your display. The higher the number, the brighter the light on the display. You can choose using the plus or minus buttons. Then press power to save. Press power again and you can set the clock settings. Please note that the clock resets every time you turn off the unit power. Press power again and you are back at the main display menu. Enter advanced settings by pressing and holding down the plus and minus button at the same time and rapidly pressing the power button at least eight times. In the first settings menu, you're going to be able to set the wheel size for your bike. Use the plus and minus button to set the wheel size for the existing bike which the motor kit is installed on. Once you find your wheel size, press the power button to select it and move on to the next setting. The OFT screen is for the auto off time. So this displays how many minutes your display will go to sleep and turn off in. Set the amount of time desired and press the power button to move to the next screen. The next screen is the pedal assist setting screen. This is the DH screen. This determines by how many increments you want the total power of your motor divided by. You can either have your motor divided by three, five, or nine pedal assist levels. After you set that, you're back at your main screen again. 